having your raster images organized with their corresponding correlation files is an important part of effectively working with raster imagery in AutoCAD Map. Also, it's important to understand your settings and the coordinate systems that you're working with to work with these images properly as well. Let's start by looking at an example packet that you could download from the USGS. And by the way, the USGS is an extremely valuable resource for downloading and finding raster imagery. In this example, we have an aerial photo that actually comes from satellite imagery for the city of Reading that we'll insert in a moment. But to start with, let's look here in Windows Explorer. And here you see the TIFF file that we've downloaded, along with a corresponding TFW file. And these are the two main files that we'll be working with within AutoCAD Map. And the TIFF file, if I right-click on it and preview it, you can see it's just a standard TIFF file in our image viewer of a basic aerial photo. If I close that, the TFW file, which is the correlation data, also has exactly the same name, but just a TFW extension. This is also referred to as a world file. If I right-click on that and open it, we can see in Notepad, this is just a simple text file that includes insertion information for the corner of the image. Close that. This particular packet that we downloaded also has several metadata files along with it. And metadata is simply information about the data. So if we go to the Meta1 HTML file, and I double click on that, here we can see a tremendous amount of information about the data itself. And probably way more information than we actually need. If I scroll down through here, and we can see a description of the data and its purpose, keywords, the location, and a tremendous amount of information about this particular data set. It also shows us here the coordinate system that it's in. We can see it's in a UTM zone number 10. And that's going to be important because AutoCAD Map will not transform an image for us. Our drawing must be in a coordinate system that matches the image for them to align correctly. So we'll close this file here, and I'll close Windows Explorer. Once we've looked at the image and know that everything is organized correctly, I need to check the coordinate system of the, of the drawing as well. So we'll go to the Map Setup tab, go to the Coordinate System panel, and pick a sign. And here I can see that the drawing has already been assigned a coordinate system of UTM NAT83 Zone 10 meter. And this matches the metadata that we just looked at for the image. So that's good. We'll pick OK to keep that. And I'll go back to the Home tab. Another basic thing to remember is that when we insert an image, it's going to go on to whatever the current layer is set to. Right now I see my current layer is set to zero, which is not very good technique within AutoCAD to be inserting my images there. So I'll bring up the Layer Manager. And we'll make up a new layer, and I'll just call it Image. And set that current. Now to insert the image, I'll go to the Insert tab, and the Image panel, and pick the Image command. This brings up the Insert Image dialog box, and we've already navigated to the correct folder for this image. So I'll select it, 
Click Open to bring up the Image Correlation dialog box. On the Source tab of the Image Correlation dialog box, you can see that AutoCAD Map automatically found a world file. And from that world file, it is determined the insertion point of our, our image. And you can even see the image in the background behind us here. If for some reason that wasn't correct or you wanted to make some changes, you could go to the Insert tab and actually type in a new insertion point or pick it from the screen. However, this would be very rare that you would have to do that because if the image has been correlated properly, it should automatically be in the correct place now. So I'll pick OK to insert the image and zoom in to take a look.